"'Twas said a feather knew the measure of the son of man. Precise proportions, organs, stories, ether, air, and earth. Conversed the genesis of words, of forces understand. The passions all of thee, contractions of a woman's birth. Confusing all the wisdom and religion of the priests, who serve the nature of our nature, living all its own. Designs upon and from that consummation of the leaves. <coughs> Confusing all the wisdom and religion of the priests who serve the nature of our nature living all its own designs upon and from that consummation of the leaves and waters of our sons and daughters body blood and soul forgotten by the song and knowledge of another age from whose infernal winter rose the son of man restored with every stroke of this supernal ink upon the page, that destiny and memory of art are being born. A mother God, the comprehension art, our finest bliss. The ether of a mother's womb, these oceans, seasons, stars and all their limbs. For once and once upon a time, the passing of the sun and thunder of a mother and a father in their woods and meadows the impressions of that sun upon the mind that comes to bear a kind of sun upon our Pentateuchs. of earth and water, air and fire, spirits all their own, the ether, every function, every faction of the flesh and blood of man. And nature married by that word made flesh inside the home, a mother and a motherland, one season and the next. A mother and a mother land one season and the next. A spring, even from coldest death, the breast of life restored. To suckle as she suckled at the cataracts of birth. Regeneration of our being loved, our being born. The language un repentant measures, pleasures, heaven, and the earth. As back and forth as such a genesis could be, a rush of radiation, the creation in our flesh and bloods.
was a nice prayer, an honest prayer. When writing and reading poetry to my, to to me was such a long time, but I don't think I've ever enjoyed it quite so much. Sitting here under the sun and making breathing, uh, making breathing uh, a priority. <clears throat> You know, taking uh, the value of these uh, prayers that I write, these poems, as, as as much as I can, you know, getting the most out of it, oh, sounds good to me. You know, I've uh, I've just so adamantly avoided involving the let's say the mores, the habits of thinking that attend monetary exchange for one's craft or industry, that. Uh, I maybe don't always even give my, myself permission to enjoy my craft as much as I like. And indeed, I'm very pleased to see uh, in the changes and in the growth uh, going on in my life. Mm. And uh, the creative nerves that seem to erupt not only at this period of my life, but in many respects through my whole life as a single body of work, or as a single ray of creation, or as a single flower of existence. And even though most of the earth, or all of the earth, is not covered in flowers, they remain internally, throughout all of the forces of this planet. They live for as long as they live from the depths of time itself. And I make it my business to learn that language. And I'm seeing with time that it should be such a great pleasure to me as I would not and never be anxious to dismiss from my life. And so with respect, with respect and with value, I accept in many respects my gift to myself. You know, everything that I work for. And if I work for anything, it is to see nature and is to better understand nature and to speak the language of nature, giving me the gift of life and giving my mother the gift of life and my father the gift of life. And such a nature is one that we must get to know. in our way, for our way is such an important part of that nature, and to know that nature, to speak that language, is to know our way of life better, to know more of its value and of its nectar, without any extra work, right? It should be a pleasure to move about our first estate, and, and of our roots, and all that the fruits of our roots offer up to in a very personal, living way in our own breath and flesh and blood. In each our own way and to be understood in each our own way. To get the most out of our own way of life without having to ask without having to ask, because it was first given. You didn't have to ask for life, it was given to you. Given. And anything that I can't give to people is not worth the purpose of my life. <laughs> 